Hello YouTube, you are watching Captain Wright with the NOA and today I'm talking about the very infamous video game Crackdown 3 and why I personally feel it ain't as bad as everyone says. Now I'm not going to sit here and act like Crackdown 3 is the greatest game ever made. It certainly isn't as good as the likes of GTA 5 or The Witcher 3 or Fallout or anything like that. But it is really fun, simple, arcadey fun. And that's what Crackdown has always been. It's never been Game of the Year material. It's always been an over-the-top action game with a comic book style where you just run around this open world with all these abilities and powers just wrecking havoc and mowing down hundreds upon hundreds of enemies. And this game ups the ante to a whole new level, right? Now we have like machine guns that fire rockets and you can pick up trucks over your head and throw them at enemies and when you upgrade your character you can actually see physically how he changes. He gets bigger and stronger as you use more melee and he gets faster and more skinnier and lean if you use more agility and so forth. And these things have always been in Crackdown games. And the reason why I bring all these things up is because Crackdown 3 plays exactly like all the other Crackdown games. Every Crackdown game has been this open world where you've got all these little objectives to complete at your own leisure. And you've got all these little mini bosses that are scattered around the map. And you've got to work your way up to the big boss at the end, right? And that's exactly what Crackdown 3 is. It plays just like the first Crackdown. You've even got the same announcer from the first game. It took me back to the old 360 days. And it honestly just filled me with a lot of nostalgic joy. Now admittedly the graphics aren't that great. But they have a comic book style. And to me personally a lot of these comic book style games do have pretty ugly graphics. But... It seems like in games like Borderlands and the Telltale series, these games have comic book style graphics that aren't particularly next gen or anything like that. Because they just accept, oh it's based off a comic, therefore it looks like a comic. And they leave it at that. They don't really moan at the game for bad graphics. But when Crackdown does it, for some reason, even though it's trying to emulate a comic book, people hated it. And to me that just baffles the mind why people can look at these games and think oh yeah they're fine at comic book style then look at Crackdown and be like oh where's graphics ever I think maybe because it was a next gen game and there was a lot of promises broken like you were meant to be able to destroy a lot of environments and that never made it into the game but despite the bad graphics and the fact that you can't destroy most of the buildings like was promised um, the game is still a lot of fun. You know, it's just a fun arcadey game where you just turn your mind off and start blowing shit up and just enjoy the carnage. And it may not have a particularly grand story, but none of the Crackdown games ever did. They were always just fun arcade experiences. And Crackdown 3 is the best Crackdown game, in my opinion. Because now it's just like the other Crackdown games, except you've got new abilities, like you can fly in a wingsuit now, you've got a car that can drive up the side of buildings. Um, Terry Crews is a really fun addition to the game, although underused, whenever you hear him comment on the situation you're in, like I hate gravity or anything like that, it just makes you laugh hearing him comment on the situation.
Both my ebooks are now available on Amazon Kindle. The New Order of Alexandria is a dystopian sci fi adventure full of violence, drama, with plenty of gunfights. Paranormal Homicide is a supernatural horror set in my hometown of Runcorn, a murder mystery with a sinister twist. Both of my books are 18 plus so you never miss out on the dark and gritty details. Don't forget to follow our Facebook page The New Order of Alexandria for everything NOA.